Hey guys, I'm Ty with RIP Training. I'm excited to be a part of the RIP Training family and today I wanted to give you just a little bit of brief background on myself, both from my sports background and my fitness background. I played football for about 15 years, I ran track for about 10. I was able to take both of those sports to the collegiate level. At college I played defensive back, played safety and corner, as well as a little bit of QB thrown in there, about 10 years of quarterback experience before that. I ran the decathlon, had a specialty in hurdles while I was there at the college level. I also had a focus on all of the jumps as well. I started out when I was a kid doing the high jump, was able to progress that and as I got a little bit stronger and a little bit faster, my long jump and triple jump really came along. Those stabilization muscles in the triple jump really started to come into factor. A little bit of brief history on where I come back from a fitness point of view. Uh, I started working out when I was about 14. And in between my 8th grade year and my freshman year of high school, uh, that's when I really started putting the time into the gym and I put on about 30 pounds worth of muscle within that first 3 months. Over the last 10 years that I've been lifting, I've gotten a lot of experience in many different styles of training. Uh, anything from Olympic lifting to Tabata type workouts to your circuit training to uh, fast twitch, slow twitch, um, even to your CrossFits nowadays as well. Um, a lot of plyometrics. A lot of stabilization. Um, I know that uh, I'm just coming off of a knee surgery. Uh, my left leg, um, I had my uh, ACL repaired. Um, actually, I had my ACL entirely re replaced. I had my meniscus repaired. Um, about last September, uh, a heart impact forced uh, my, uh, my femur to actually crack, uh, tear both my ACL, my meniscus, and my MCL. Uh, fortunately, the MCL healed on its own because that's one of the only, that's uh, actually will get a little bit of blood flow itself. Um, the ACL, however, is one of those ligaments that doesn't get any of its own blood flow. So that had to be replaced. I ended up using my own patella tendon to uh, replace my ACL. I elected to go with my own tendon rather than a cadaver and use my patella instead of my hamstring. I've been doing personal training for about the last two years that I've had the opportunity to work with some amazing athletes at every single different level. Anything from the young youth all the way up to the professional level. I've had athletes in the NBA, in the MLB, and now in the NFL. Over the last two years, I've had a specialization in elite athlete training, which is to say that I've been focusing and leaning more towards uh, hypertrophy, uh, fast twitch and slow twitch muscles, uh, recovery times. Um, transferring power to strength and strength to power, um, working on auxiliary and stabilization muscles as well, and a lot of core emphasis trying to make the body a more well-balanced machine. So that's just a little bit of brief background on who I am myself. Again, my name's Ty, and hope to be seeing all of you guys on the website. Have a good one.